bit of a momentous day today. It's exciting, it's nerve wracking. Scary. Scary. Along with the foxes and Silver Fox, Laura Maisie, and we are going to Liverpool. And which way are we going? <laughs> We're going the 10 miles down the Manchester Ship Canal and then about 45 minutes to an hour actually on the River Mersey estuary itself to Liverpool. <laughs> so we are very excited but a tad nervous. A tad? A tad <laughs> nervous? Weather is fantastic so it's calm, the uh, estuary, the River Mersey is going to be placid with a bit of luck yeah. and uh, it's all looking good. We've had an uh, extra boat inspection, we've had to have a surveyor down to give us a certificate even though it's a new boat it has to comply with all the safety regs. We've sat last night on Google Maps looking at our plan to see what's on there. I've even looked on the shipping um, websites to see what big boats are along the ship canal at the moment and there's some big tankers and some big cargo ships on there. So, and there's going to be our little boat and these big <laughs> tankers. And um, of course we've got the extra trouble of those two coming with us. I know, I know. But never mind. Anyway, I'm so excited. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, we're all smiling now. <laughs> Right, here we go, Fran. <laughs> Life jackets on. Onto the Manchester Ship Canal for 10 miles. Oh my God. It's massive. <laughs> We've got to stay in their wake, apparently. Um, and we hope they know what they're doing. <laughs> so excited. It's amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. Incredible. Yes. And uh, couldn't have picked a better day for us. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. We've had weeks of rain and winds and bad weather, and today is just gorgeous. But I'm having to concentrate because I've got to keep within two to three boat lengths of the guys in front. And uh, they're stopping and starting a little bit, so I've really got to keep my wits about me because we're going at some speed, aren't we, when we're moving? Yeah. So the guys have got uh, a pilot on board that's going to guide us all the way. He's going to guide us all the way to uh, Liverpool. Apparently he's been doing this journey for 40 years, so I think we're in safe hands. i got to go find my hat. How's it going, Fran? It's fine. It's really tough on my shoulder because steering is really hard at this speed. And uh, having to try and keep close to the foxes at this speed, every time they slow down to look at something, I nearly crash up the back of them. But that's all right. We're managing all right. So it's, uh, yeah, it's good. It's exciting. It's fun. It's scary. A little bit, yeah. Bit. This is just the Manchester ship canal. You know? I know, I, I know, this is fine. I don't know what the Mersey is going to be like. I mean, I think it's only going to take us about 40 minutes to cross the Mersey. 
So, um, but obviously, we're going straight across it. That's going to be a little bit different going along and then across. But passing those big, big uh, boats is a bit intimidating, really. Hope you can hear us, the wind's picked up. The uh, canal's got a bit choppy. So let's hope the Mersey is not going to be choppy. <laughs> I've just checked the weather forecast, it's fantastic. But apparently we've got a southeast wind and we're going against the flow or the current. Incoming tide. And that can make it a little bit, yeah, choppy. But uh, we know we're in good hands, it's going to be fine. It all adds to the excitement, doesn't it? Yes. But Rich is suffering a bit of his feet. Yeah, after my London Brighton walk at the weekend, uh, one's feet are a tad tender. So. Not the best timing, but we've had to go when the current is right, the tides are right. Um, there you go. And the He's weather's a hero. right. He's the weather's a... fantastic. Yeah. Oh, you were saying I'm a hero? Yeah, you missed that bit out though, so uh, he's a Well here we are, we're approaching Eastern Lock and uh, this is our gateway to the Mersey. A bit scared now, it's a bit, we're a bit apprehensive Fran. It's, uh, well the locks themselves are massive. massive, it's just huge, you can't imagine it and uh, yeah we're like a little tiny boat going in. Boys are going through on Silver Fox and we're right behind so it's uh, Interesting. Look, we're on telly. <laughs> Where's your man? Are you in there, friend? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. A bit wonky, aren't we? You're talking about us, off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Wonky's not the right word. <laughs> this is it, men. We're off. Uh, um... Oh yeah, and Fran. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just say ladies? That covers us all. <laughs> <then>. <laughs> It's going to be a week of entertaining fun. Oh yes. Who's going to escape first? That's going to be, this. it's like uh, when you go on the desert island, isn't it? How long you can last? <laughs> <laughs> How long you can last in Liverpool docks? Lovely and calm. The boys are getting away from me, so I've got to speed up a bit. It's massive. I've never known anything like it. Look at it. Oh my God! I didn't look behind me before. 
and there's sandbanks all along here you can see them that's what we're trying to avoid and that's why we've got our pilot with us and there's Liverpool Bobbing up and down a bit, Fran. We're rocking and rolling. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Rocking and rolling. Um, yeah, so fantastic seeing Liverpool in front of you. And all the industrial stuff at Runcorn. I guess that is, isn't it, behind? Yeah, Runcorn. But we've, we've, we're, we're okay. We're going straight against the current at the moment. But we've got to cross it. So I'm not looking forward to that bit. <laughs> It's so hard on the on the arms, isn't it? The tiller's really tough when you're going at really high revs. But uh, it's all good fun, though. Loving it. Fortunately, we're quite close to the bank here, so that's my um, my comfort zone. That is, if anything happens, I can swim to the side from here. I think even Archie and Jess could swim that. We're fine. Is it me or do we feel like we're out at sea? It smells like sea. It's real salty sea air here, isn't it? It's such an experience. It's absolutely amazing. I don't think I'd want to be out here if it was a little bit choppier, but uh, it's just superb. Hang on a minute. It looks like they're going into land here. I don't know what they're doing. We've got to go that way. It's getting a bit nervy now. We're rocking and rolling around a bit. We've moved closer to the centre of the channel, getting ready to cut across. Fran's at the helm. <laughs> I know it's always that I wouldn't want to go to sea. It's like you're taking me out to sea now. <laughs> this is a taster for when we take the boat over to France on the, across the channel. The only way this boat's going to France is on the back of a lorry. So we're nearly at the end of our trip now. The, um, the pilot that we've had to take us over has just told us that we've done a very good job keeping on the tail of the foxes, so that's all good. It's amazing watching all the buildings of Liverpool get closer and closer. We've really, as we've said, really felt the boat rocking and rolling. We've got a few noises that we don't know what they are. We need to investigate, but everything looks good. Um, yeah, and it's what an experience and I think we're going to have a couple of days resting up when we get into Liverpool, let Rich rest his foot for a bit and get better, then there's going to be so much to explore and do. Um, but what a fantastic day we've had and it's all gone smoothly and thank you to Sean and Colin for doing the bulk of the research and organising for us and um, twisting our arms behind our backs a little bit to do it with them because we probably wouldn't have done it yet with a new boat <laughs> um, but that's as we've said before you take opportunities when they come up and this one was there and it was just a bit boring to go straight back to the boatyard this has been so much more exciting thoroughly enjoyed it have you got anything to add help <laughs> <laughs> it's uh we've moved into the middle of the channel even more and we're about to turn right head over to the uh, docks and the locks that we've got to go through so yeah, it's, it's been marvellous, it's been absolutely fantastic. We've just heard from our pilot that we can't get into the dock until 3 o'clock. So 
so that's about well, just over half an hour um, to go. So we're going to carry on towards the Isle of Man <laughs> and then turn around and come back in with the tide. Um, yeah, I don't know. He says it's all fine, it's all fine, but this is what we've got to do. So, who knows? See you on the Isle of Man. Okay, Fran. Yeah, it was really hairy for a bit as we tried to cut across, well, as we did cut across the river, really threw us about. And um, I'm still not sure exactly where we're going. I'm just following the boys. Thank goodness we haven't got to worry about too much about where we're going. All we've got to worry about is steering the boat. But really throwing us about. I'm just sorry for the poor dogs. We shut them in for safety. Uh, but they must be hating it. You could go in on that side. in the first part of the docks just to find a berth to moor now you got anything to say? No? Uh, that last 10 minutes was a bit hairy wasn't it? the camera wouldn't work, it was kept, wouldn't focus I was getting all stressy because I couldn't get the capture the scene as we were coming in but sorted out in the end What are you doing, Rich? Look at this. We have the power. We have the power. For the first time in our boating life, we are going shoreline. So we've got a cable, and we can connect it to that post over there, connect it to the boat down there, and we've got free electricity, because this is what they offer in Liverpool. So what are we going to be plugging in then? You name it, we can have it. You can do washing every single day while you're here now. I can, I can and do you washing. can you can vacuum the engine out as many times as you like. Well, that's a thought because it does need vacuuming out. Well, there you yeah, go. There's a lot of uh, tree detritus down there. Well, there you go then. So one goes in one end and one goes in the other. Easy peasy.